Do you like traveling, my friend? I love it more than anything else in the world. But, oh, packing and unpacking is such a hassle. I bet you're with me on this. Wouldn't it be great to set off on an adventure whenever you feel like it, without the trouble of rolling up your socks and t-shirts? My dream of dreams has always been a suitcase with a nicely furnished apartment inside that I'd carry with me wherever I'd go. Every detail of that place is imprinted in my mind as if I've actually been there. Would you like to take a tour around my travel home? Just imagine. You cast a spell, and this humble suitcase grows into a full-sized, lovely apartment. It fits any place perfectly, whether it be a forest, a mountain meadow, or a cobblestone street. When you decide to take off somewhere else, another spell shrinks it back to a piece of easy-to-carry luggage. What do you like most about traveling? Maybe it's discovering the unknown, or the feeling of being on the road. Personally, I love the opportunity to immerse yourself in a different culture and hang out with the locals. The door to my home in a suitcase is always open to guests. So please, come in. Everything's better when you share it with a friend, don't you agree? including cosy evenings by the fireplace, when the sweet balmy aroma of smouldering wood wraps around you like an invisible blanket. Hmm.
The fireplace in my fantasy house is just like the one at my grandparents' old country home. What a delight it always was to rush into their loving embrace when I came to visit, leaving behind the cold outdoors. I vividly remember the crackling of the wood in the fireplace and the jolly sparks that sprang up when my grandfather moved the embers with the fire iron. In my traveling house, I can treat my guests to some warm drinks and snacks as we have long heart-to-heart -heart conversations in front of the fire. Can you imagine a better finale to an adventurous day in a new country? Of course, no living room is complete without a sofa. This one here is a mini copy of the sofa in my house. Nothing flashy about it, no leather or velvet or lion paws, but it feels like resting on a cloud. My trusty old sofa is not the only thing I miss when I'm overseas. Oh, how I wish I didn't have to face the dilemma of choosing just one or two books to bring along on a trip. Well, owners of magical suitcases with built-in libraries have no such problems. Why not purchase an e-reader, you might ask, and have thousands of books at my fingertips? Well, my friend, I'm quite an old-fashioned bookworm, and nothing can replace the weight of a real book in my hands. The homely smell, the texture of paper, it's all part of the experience. I picked up the love for reading from my grandfather. Books have always been his go-to birthday gift, and he never said no when Tiny Me asked for a bedtime story. Thanks to him, I was well versed in the works of Thomas Main Reed and Jack London at an early age. As I grew up, I branched out to travel documentaries and adventure movies about faraway lands. I was in love with the spirit of those stories, and couldn't help picturing myself as some happy-go-lucky Indiana Jones character with great hair and an iconic hat. Do you like to dress up when you travel? I'm always torn between staying practical and wearing something nice for the photos. So here's another argument in favor of a magical suitcase. One never has to worry about which clothes to pack and how they match the weather outside. You just look out the window, grab something from the wardrobe, and do one turn in front of the mirror. All done. I spotted this mirror at a garage sale once. At the time, I didn't have enough cash on me to buy it. But, well, it sure found a way into my heart. Just like this vintage treasure box. Are you an organized traveler? Well, I sure try to be. 
every essential that I bring along has its designated pocket in my travel jacket. I must admit, however, that it's not the most elegant of solutions. No, it's much neater to have a few stands and drawers to stash all the maps, phrase books, and travel passes. You have probably guessed by now that I'm a bit of a hoarder. It's so nice to imagine how the beautiful things that I spot at markets around the world would look in my suitcase home. Like the artisanal rug from Morocco, with its elegant pattern and incomparable softness. I hope you're liking my dream home so far. Let's have a look around upstairs. Would you join me? You see, the carpet on the stairs is blue to match the stripes in the sofa. Furnishing a home is all about harmony, my grandmother used to say and all you need to know about harmony can be learned in nature. This magical suitcase is perfect for glamping in the woods, don't you think? Out in the wilderness, I'd be able to walk onto the balcony and hear the nightingales warming up for a concert. I imagine that the floor tiles out here are always warm, and stepping on them barefoot feels so relaxing. Go on, try it. Oh, and what a view opens up from here. Every little star is visible, and no wonder, a couple of lanterns can hardly amount to light pollution. Look at the fireflies drawn to the warm golden light. Isn't their dance just mesmerizing? Together with the fairy lights that enlace the balcony, they fill this place with magic. As a boy, I believed that real fairies lived in these bulbs. They aren't called fairy lights for no reason. What do you think? It's a warm night, isn't it? And the flowers in and around my magical house bloom bright and fragrant. If aromas could make a sound, they would create a beautiful symphony. The tender wind 
brings in the floral notes in waves, and some get caught in the swaying curtains. These curtains look exactly like the ones I had in my childhood bedroom. My mum helped me paint them with fluorescent paint so that every night the stars shone with the energy they soaked up during the day. Their shadows played on the walls and crawling under the covers felt like diving into the sea. When putting me to sleep, Mum used to say that it's the small details that hold things together, like buttons on my pajama shirt. Look up, and you'll see that I put some giant buttons up on the walls here, to remind me of her wisdom. Small details can make your entire day, like getting the window seat on a flight, and discovering a cute hidden nook in a foreign city, or spotting a keepsake from your travels when you pull an old suitcase from the shelf. And that's it. Our tour's complete. I hope you had a good time in my cozy abode. You know, perhaps the whole apartment in a suitcase idea is a bit naive. But there's something so appealing about taking yourself to new places without losing the familiar comforts of home. What would your home in a suitcase look like? Try to imagine it in as much detail as possible as you drift off to sleep tonight. Until next time, my fellow traveler.